Hello and Toshi Delek. Welcome back to Dharma Snacks. So, in the past few weeks, we touch on the topic of precious human rebirth. And over the weeks, we have discussed the nature of this precious life of leisure and opportunity. We also talked about how valu valuable it is in terms of achieving both uh, temporary and ultimate goals. And then finally, we uh, explored how difficult it is to ob obtain a gain. So upon contemplation on these uh, points, we are supposed to arrive at a very important, very critical four conclusions. So today we are going to talk about these four uh, resolutions, the four resolutions to extract the essence of this life. So the first one is seeing the necessity of practicing Dharma. So here we have to realize that we need to practice Dharma. Why is it necessary to practice Dharma? It is simply because that we all want happiness and none of us desire misery or suffering. Even the tiniest insects, they have this same aspiration to be happy and to be free from suffering. But when it comes to happiness, it does not arise out of nothing. It requires causes and conditions. Not just causes and conditions, but concordant causes and conditions. Causes and conditions that corresponds to the result. So the only thing that can give rise to happiness and to prevent future suffering is practicing Dharma. So giving these reasons, we have to come to the conclusion that I must practice Dharma. Then this raises the question, yes, I see that in order to be happy, in order to be free from suffering, I need to practice Dharma. But do I have the ability? Do I have the resources? Do I have the conditions to practice Dharma and to be successful in practicing Dharma? So that's where the second uh, uh, conclusion comes. So that is to recognize the capability to accomplish the practice. So as we discussed in our earlier sessions, that we do have all the necessary uh, conditions. First of all, we have the inner condition, which is this human rebirth, which is uh, what you call free from the eight states that prevent us from practicing Dharma. We have this human body, we have this human intellect, we have this human brain. Not only we have the inner condition, we also have external conditions such as we have Dharma teachers, we have Mahayana uh, Dharma teachers. And nowadays it is so advanced that our teachers are at the tip of our fingers. It's just only a click away of a button. You just press a button, 
There you can choose all kinds of teachings. And we have te teachers, real, what you call the Buddha in the form of human body, like His Holiness. Because of the COVID, we are now able to receive teachings from His Holiness wherever, wherever we are, whether we are uh, thousands of kilometers away from Dharamsala or not. We can often receive teachings via uh, internet. So in that sense, we have the necessary conditions. The only thing that we are lacking is our commitment. If we commit to seriously practice Dharma, then we are not short of all the conditions. So that's the second uh, resolution that we need to arrive at. That yes, I, I have the ability, I can do it. So then it raises the next question. Yes, I see that I need to practice Dharma. And also I see that I have the ability, I have all the necessary conditions, but I have many other obligations right now. So can I leave it to next life? Because I have so many things to do in this life. But to answer that, we need to realize that we must, we must practice in this very life. We must start. We must do the Dharma practice in this life. Because if we don't, as we discussed earlier, it is very unlikely from judging our action to achieve another, this kind of precious human rebirth. Remember, we looked at the causes and conditions that are required to bring about this precious human body. And from the looking at the causes and conditions, we heartily cultivate or engage in activities to cultivate these causes and conditions. So we are more likely to be born in the lower realms rather than achieve a birth in the higher realms. Once we are down there, imagine the lightest one would be to be born as animal. So once we are born as animal, there is no way we can do real virtue. Many of the virtue depends on our intention. But as an animal, it is very unlikely to be able to adopt a very virtuous intention. So in that sense, it is very unlikely for us to come by another this kind of opportunity. Therefore, we must decide to practice in this very life. And then, shall we wait to finish uh, other things? Normally, we will say that, oh, yes, I can see the importance in practicing Dharma, but I must finish this project. I must retire first. I must first make money. I must make enough money so that I can retire and then dedicate my time on practicing Dharma. But that is a very wrong assumption because the, death is, the time of death is uncertain. The dead won't wait for us to finish our uh, projects. Dead won't say, that, okay, I will wait for you. Because you are still busy finishing a project. 
you are still working. You still haven't retired yet. That dad won't say like that. First of all, dad is certain we will all die. Nobody will live forever. But still, if we know if there is a fix, if there is a fix time for our death, at least we can prepare. At least we know when is that coming. Then we can say, okay, I'm, I'm going to die in five years' time. I better stop everything and focus on Dharma practice, which can which, which is the only thing that can help when I journey it to the next life. But we don't know that. We may be uh, what do you call it, alive today, but there's no guarantee that we will wake up tomorrow morning. Normally we make all kinds of plans, but Death will never wait for us to finish all our plans. So that is why we need to practice the Dharma right away. There is a very famous uh, quote by Kung Lan Rinpoche, which goes like this. So, which means that that means before the next day where you plan to practice, before that day comes, your day of dying, there's this danger of your day of dying coming before the next day that you are supposed to practice Dharma. So in that way, in that sense, it says, Tarangu Rangi Magobar. You should not deceive yourself. And if you really want to practice, if you are very serious about doing Dharma practice, Shuchana Tarinyinegi, you must do right away from today itself. You must decide to do Dharma practice. Otherwise, you never know whether you will be alive tomorrow. So, these are the four uh, conclusions that one must arrive after contemplating on the various points on the topic of precious human rebirth. So first, we must decide, we must come to the conclusion that, yes, practicing Dharma is critical. Practicing Dharma is essential, is necessity. Without practice of Dharma, no matter how much I wish to be happy, there is no way I can achieve that. So in order to fulfill, fulfill that aspiration, I must engage in practice I must engage in Dharma practice. And then one must decide that I can do it because I have all the necessary conditions. So there's no reason I will not succeed in uh, uh, practicing Dharma and achieving the Dharma goals, the spiritual goals that I pursue because I have all the necessity, uh, capabilities, and conditions. And not only I can succeed and I should do, but I must do in this life and this very moment. So the stronger we are able to have this resolve, we will be able to push ourselves in practicing Dharma and thereby we will be able to kind of filter out other uh, activities that are trivial and meaningless. So
also try to go through these four points and try to uh, generate or develop these convictions. And I believe that will bring a powerful changes in your life and the way or how or how you spent your time. So that concludes our topic on the precious human rebirth. So from next week, we will uh, move on to another important topic, that is death, being mindful of death. Thank you.